Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> today is December the 3rd. It is Saturday, so no school yeah. today. Yay! <laughs> it's just me and Emily up at the moment. It's ten past seven. Do you want to know why I woke up? Because I was feeling hungry. Yes. And you're probably also a little bit excited about going to Gates Garden Centre today to see all the Christmas no, decorations. I'm not excited. Oh, okay. I'm just a little bit excited like this. Okay, okay. I don't know if I'm going to be going. My migraine is still raging. Um, yeah, uh, it's just my my brain feels like it's trying to explode out of my skull right now so um i've just taken some more painkillers if they start to work then i'll get to go if they don't then i might go back to bed and try and sleep it off as best as i can i did go to bed early really early last night for me i didn't read i just said good night to catherine and then went into bed and slept um but yes yeah, so i i did not continue with that oh careful <laughs> i did not continue with that top i said i was starting the granny stitch top because catherine came home very upset um that she'd lost one of the mittens that i'd knitted her so um i found a crochet pattern so for me for more mittens for some more mittens so these are i can remember to to make one more. Yes. <laughs> These are a pattern from a Simply Crochet magazine. And the yarn I'm using is some yarn that was sent to me by Melissa of Knit and Crochet Spot, who is also doing Vlogmas. So head over and see all the things that she's um, doing. Uh, so here's the yarn. This, I love this yarn and it, is it looks like levi yarn in the color fruit punch so i've got two skeins of this so catherine has asked very kindly if um when i finish the mittens if i can make her a matching hat and possibly a matching scarf I'm not sure i'll have enough for a scarf but i might i will have enough for a cowl um so i'll find a cowl pattern and a hat pattern and work on that today I think if I don't go anywhere because I'm just yeah so we shall see you soon when oh you want to show something do you mummy made this for me out of, of an old pattern <laughs> yes that's um something else like I said I'm Something about this migraine is making me not really be bothered about knitting, which is concern because obviously today is another yarn day for my advent, <clears throat> and I was, I'm going to try and do it even if it's just a few rows, and get some more done tomorrow. Although tomorrow is a very busy day. It's not busy, really busy day. It is. We got church in the morning. And then, and then what are we doing after lunch? Tomorrow. Can you remember? Watching Slumberland? Before that. Lunch? After that. <laughs> What's going to stand over there? Tree! <laughs> <laughs> The girls will be decorating the trees, so we'll have to make sure that there's some video of that. I like delivering how it is. I think it's your turn to put the fairy on the tree. You mean the angel? Yeah, the angel. I think it's your turn this year. We need to check. So every year the girls take it in turns to put the angel on the tree. I think it was Catherine last year, which means it will be Emily this year. Yeah. And I need to redo my nails. The nail stickers that I had on um, fell off. They didn't fall off. They got a bit ruined while I was having to use a um, metal scouring pad on one of my baking sheets. So um, they were 
not looking their best so I need to redo my nails and so that they're looking festive again <laughs> so I might do that in a minute actually before it's time to get Catherine and daddy up because well, hey, why daddy Daddy can't come down when he feels like it no because we're picking granny up at nine o'clock no I do I'm hope. To be I do do really, really hope that my migraine eases up a little bit after these painkillers, so that I can come along, because I I love Gates Garden Centre. I love their cafe. Their cakes are yummy. How How is their cafe lovely? It's a nice cafe. They have they have a um wood fires, and we always like to find a table near a wood fire. <laughs> um. I've got to stop now. <laughs> there you go. Stop. So we'll um, see you later. Sure, you check everything. Oh. You found it. Oh! Hey, yeah. come in. So this is the North Pole. The snowman that has already come out. <laughs> uh, what you got? Candy cane. Oh. Okay then. Can you get your smiggle. Oh, we'll be able to get the door open a bit easier. Open. Yeah, mine won't either. Yeah, I'm going that way. There you go. Oh, what's that? I thought it was a torch. Oh, wow. It's got lots of colours on it. I thought, I thought, but inside here was a torch. You did think it was a torch, didn't you? I said it was probably a fancy pen. <laughs> so, what oh, do you think? Super cool. Emily? Super cool. Well, don't sound too excited. Okay, now on to my advent. Oh dear, I really want to get back to bed. Okay, so there's my knitting. We already showed that one off. And just remember, I got these really cool cords yesterday. So today will be a yarn day. It's envelope number three. Okay, so, oh, that's a pretty colour. Oh, there's a bit of paper in this one. I didn't have a bit of paper in the last one. French Christmas tradition. The Yule logs made out of cherry wood are often burned in French homes. An old tradition is that the log was carried into the home on Christmas Eve and sprinkled with red wine to make the log smell nice when it is burning. There is a custom that the log and candles are left burning all night with some food and drinks left out in case Mary and baby Jesus come past during the night. Ooh. I'm going to double check envelope one now to see if there was a little um, slip of paper in there that I missed. But that will go with that. So I'm looking forward to knitting that up.
morning. <laughs> Today is Sunday the 4th of December and um, at the moment it is 6.30 and I'm on my own. Peace and quiet. I just wanted to tell you about the nightmare <laughs> that we had yesterday. So um, you probably would have just seen lots of pretty decorations, um, lots of fun that we were having um, at Gates Garden Centre. That bit was great. Got into the car, started the car, big red warnings all over the dashboard, steering malfunction, <laughs> pull over safely. Uh, we were already pulled over, uh, we were in the car park, so it was like, okay. We've had similar problems in the past where we'd get the warnings, all we need to do is turn the car off, start the car back up, it would be fine. It wasn't fine. We had to call the breakdown um, company and they said we'll be with you between two and four. It was about 1.30 at that time. So, okay, fair enough, yep. Four o'clock comes, no driver. Five o'clock comes, <laughs> no driver. So by this point, we've been sat in the car for almost five hours in, I think the temperatures outside were about four or five degrees at the time. And we were freezing cold. <laughs> and <laughs> the girls were bored. They were hungry, they were thirsty, so um, I did pop into the garden centre. Um, so there's a farm shop there, but it's ridiculously expensive. So I bought them some crisps and some biscuits, and right, that'll keep you going. We're only going to be here for a few, couple of hours. Psst. No, we weren't. We didn't get home until after seven o'clock? No. No, that was when we got dinner. <laughs> It was almost seven o'clock when we got home and then um, we had to call a cab for Granny because even though Granny doesn't live very far from us, she wouldn't walk home in the dark and we wouldn't expect her to, um, so we had to call her a cab and then we had to think, what, what are we doing about dinner? Because... The plan was going to be to do the garden centre and then in the afternoon I was going to stay home with the girls and get the house tidied so that while well, he went and did the grocery shopping so that the house was tidy for um, getting the decorations up today. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Um, but yeah, no, the um, house is not tidy. It is still a tip and we have no groceries so I don't know what we're going to do today so I would normally on a Sunday head off to church on a Sunday morning but I think it's going to be all hands on deck we're going to need to get um, some groceries in from somewhere and we're going to need hands to carry it so I think we'll have to miss church, which is a heartbreak. Oh my goodness me. So we have um, Alexa. Just if she heard me. Alexa, home. She heard me. Um, <laughs> we refer to her at home as box face. So that stops her from responding to us. But the weather forecast flashes up. And I've just noticed... But at midday today, we may get some of the white stuff. That'll make today even more fun. 
Oh no. So yeah, so as I was saying, we're gonna have to all four of us go grocery shopping just to get enough in for the next couple of days at least. But we'll we'll need all of us to carry something. So Emily can carry um the light stuff, the salads. <laughs> she can carry the salads. Simon and I can carry the bigger, heavier things, and Catherine can carry whatever she can fit into her backpack. Um, and that will hopefully get get us through a, a few days. We're going to raid the freezer to see if there's anything in there that I can make use of um, to minimise how much we need to go shopping for because we don't have anything particularly cheap i mean we're, we're going to a shop called iceland so if you're not in the uk there's a freezer shop a shop that sells frozen food mainly um chain in the uk called iceland and it used to be fairly cheap and fairly good value for money but it's it's not as good value for money anymore and um they're not great with their fresh fruit and veg, if I'm honest. So, um, and because Catherine has salads for school every day now. So, <laughs> I'm hoping that we can get something that will stay fresh enough for her to eat for the next couple of days at least. School. Oh dear. But yes, I went to bed early last night. My migraine is better now. I've just got a lingering headache. It's not anywhere near as bad as it was yesterday. And I regretted making the decision to go. <laughs> yesterday I took some paracetamol and that, that helped. It took the edge off. And it was fine. That's was fine. I mean, Eva managed to do the drive because we share the driving. So I drove to the garden centre without too much trouble. Although it was starting to bother me in the last five, ten minutes of the drive. And by by one o'clock, I was very uncomfortable, very, very uncomfortable. And um, yes, it was, I wish I'd stayed at home because I would have been easy access to painkillers and I could have just gone to bed. But uh, yes, the, we were so cold. I went to bed in, so we've got these fleece lined hoodie things um, for, because we're not having the heating on as much as possible at home at the moment. And um, so we've got them for when we're in the living room, um, just sitting on the sofa, we'll have blankets across our laps, crocheted ones of course, uh, but this one's Catherine's, she's got milk and cookies. Uh, I've got breakfast foods, but it's inside out right now because I, I went to bed in it. I was chilled to the bone. My socks were left on. <laughs> we had a duvet. Um, one of the we had bought a lightweight duvet for the summer, so we had that over the top of that as well. I just it took me a long time to feel warm last night, a long, long time. So I got no knitting done on my advent. I did ball it up and I did add it in so I've done about two rows so <laughs> the plan was to try and do uh, 25 rows a day because I'm getting about 50 rows uh, on the wrap out of um, each mini so I've got to work on that today um, I've also got uh, Catherine's rainbow socks one advantage to being stuck in the car all that time. So I had remembered to take my uh, on the go socks. I've got about four rows left on her socks because it got too dark to work on. Because um, I needed to see when the colour change came so that I knew when to cast off. So I stopped. Um, so I'm going to work on that this morning first. Get those cast off and the ends weaved in. So Catherine has a new pair of hand knit socks. And that way, Simon's double knit socks can go into the on-the-go bag. And then my next on-the-go. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm hoping that the car is fixable. 
and I'm hoping that it doesn't cost us so much because all of our plans for the rest of December will have to go out the window which will be sad because it will make vlogmas incredibly boring <laughs> so I've been talking for 10 minutes now um, Simon's going to be fed up of hearing this because he'll be editing it later so I'm going to get myself a drink and do some knitting well again excuse all that mess all that mess will be gone by the end of the day okay have you found your door number three four number four <laughs> Oh, I hope it the wrong way. <laughs> it's time to go that way. I did a bit too hard and we took that way. And what shape chocolate have you got? Ooh. Christmas pudding. The Christmas pudding. <laughs> Found it. Ooh. Yeah, so number four is this really weird shaped door that goes all the way wait. down the side. Oh, Emily's um, just... Wait, wait. Emily's just going for it. Is yes, it is a candy cane pencil. <laughs> That's awesome. But but how are you meant to write with it? Well, you sharpen it and you write like that. <laughs> writing, 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 writing. <laughs> in my hand in the how cool would it be to use that at school? I would Ooh. want to use it at for your schoolwork. School. It wouldn't fit in a pencil case. <laughs> I would want to use this at school. Would you? Yes, because you, you have to use pencils still, don't you? You haven't got a pen license at school yet, do you? No. Yeah, so at Cat Emily's school, they have um, what called pen licenses. So when somebody's handwriting is good enough, they get to start writing their, doing their schoolwork in pen. At my school? Yeah. Okay, so here it is. So let's get this I envelope this garden open. Center. Stitch marker. Sheep. Um, it's a sheep. Hello, sheep. Hello, sheep. <laughs> They're so cute. Now, uh, until the end of the advent, I am going to keep all of my bits in here. Make sure there's nothing else in that envelope. No. I need to get today's yarn done, finished. <laughs> so that's going to be one of my priorities today. My other priority will be to finish making the other mitten for Catherine so that she can have warm hands tomorrow morning when she goes to school. So that's going to go away. And oh, let's get the monsters some breakfast.